Hopkinton Hillers Hockey took on East Longmeadow in their final regular season game. It was another scoring fest for the Hillers. Sean Walsh got things started with his 10th goal of the Walsh season. Shot into the slot, and that one is off the crossbar, then knocked in. Off the crossbar, and in it goes, one to nothing Hillers. A few minutes later, Matt Lindquist got his fifth goal of the season. Blaney. That one deflected off of Pacini. Lindquist is going to have a goal. Wrists that one right through the five hole for goal number two for the Hillers with 7.48 left to go in the first period. Just a nice setup. Hillers being patient, looking for that open man. Kind of a bad angle shot, but he's able to catch it just right off the goalie skate. Abbott. Now Simos with possession, back ends it, no one's there. Sloan steals it away. Abbott getting the shot off, and that is a goal. Wow, rapid fire shot there. It was 3-0 Hillers after the first period. Second period, Hillers add three more. Will Abbott scores his 30th off a Connor Delaney assist 44 seconds into the period. And then at 9.40 left to go, Jake Weinstock puts one in. And then, just over a minute later, Will Abbott does it again. In front, here comes Sloan on a quick break. Into the left circle and leaves it out in front. Another Will Abbott goal. Great setup by Sloan. Will Abbott, once again, in front of the net, puts it right in. A beautiful pass. Sloan just working his way down. Using that speed of the outside, Will Abbott just breaking right to the open corner there for easy tapping. In the third period, the Hillers scoring continues. Will Abbott strikes again 10 seconds into the period. He's Abbott once again looking for goal number four, and he will put that right in with ease. 10 seconds into the third period. With nine minutes left, Steven Simos picks up a goal. And then, just over a minute later, Sean Walsh does it again. There's Walsh, and he's going to put that one in right around Ficini. Hopkinton takes the 9-1 victory over East Longmeadow and finishes regular season play with 17 wins, two losses, and one tie. They will head to the Division III South Sectionals with a very high seed. On Sunday, February 18th, the Division II State Swimming Finals took place. On the girls' side, Hopkinton finished 7th out of 24 teams in the 200-yard medley relay. The four hillers in the relay included Grace Cavanaugh, Allison Fu, Andrea Way, and Rachel Zale. Andrea Way finished first out of 30 in the 50-yard freestyle. She also fell just short of the 23.49 state record with a score of 23.56. Maddie Stoss finished fourth out of 16 in the one-meter dive. She recorded an overall score of 457.70. Andrea Way also took the 100-yard butterfly title in this event, she grabbed the meet record with a 54.93. In the 100-yard freestyle, Grace Cavanaugh finished 10th out of 30. Abby Fisher was 8th out of 25 in the 500-yard freestyle. Hopkinton was 2nd out of 24 teams in the 400-yard freestyle relay. The four participants for Hopkinton in the event included Abby Fisher, Onsley Worrell, Grace Cavanaugh and Andrea Way. Hopkinton as a team finished second place out of 43 with a total score of 166. Duxbury took the title with a score of 323. On February 20th, the boys swim and dive Division II state championships took place. Hopkinton's Jack Brennan finished seventh out of 16 in the one meter dive and Alex Matsukis took 7th out of 26 in the 100-yard backstroke. The Hopkinton boys overall finished 22nd out of 37 teams 
with a score of 26. Indoor track and field All-State meet took place on Monday, February 19th. In the 55-meter hurdles on the girls' side, Caitlin Halloran finished 13th out of 24. Also on the girls' side in the one-mile run, Schuler Gooley finished 6th out of 24. In the 600-meter run, Caitlin Halloran also finished 10th out of 24. In the 4x400-meter relay, the girls were 11th out of 24 teams. On the boys' side in the 600-meter run, Nate Pucci finished 14th out of 24. And then in the boys' 4x400-meter relay, Hopkinton was 22nd out of 24.